All right, this is grade two, module seven, lesson 26, and this is the third and final video in a row where students are making line plots from a, a bunch of collected measurement data. And this time, students have been given even less scaffolding, so students are responsible for coming up with even more of that line plot on their own. And then once they've made the line plot, they're going to be answering some questions and drawing some conclusions. And they're also going to be thinking about which do they like better? Do they like looking at the table or do they like looking at the resulting line plot and which one is more helpful and when? So let's get started. So we have a table describing the lengths of student shoelaces in Miss Henry's class. And so you can see the lengths go from 27 up to 45. We have a lot of gaps, don't we? And you can see the number of uh, students who have those lengths of shoelaces. And so here's the area for our line plot. And let's do, right here is our title. And oftentimes it's going to be not the, the, the values of your, to, of your numbers, like the number of votes, but it's actually going to be your um, topics. And this is kind of our categories. And in this court case, it's the length of shoelaces. So that's going to be our title. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to call that length of shoelaces. All right. And then it doesn't, of course, that's not the only possible title. That's just the one I chose. And then down here, down here, we're going to say, well, what are these numbers going to be? Well, we know that the numbers are going to be 27 through 45, but what are those numbers? Are those days? Are they people? No, those are inches. So what we need to do down here is we need to label this as inches. So I'm going to do it in blue. And now we are ready to make our graph. And we're going to go from 27 up to 45. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at zero. I'm going to do my dashes. Now I need to start at 27. I need to go up to 45. And let's see, that is, we're going up by what, 18? Oh my goodness. So somehow I need to go up by 18. So I'm going to cut, let's see, it into thirds. And then I'll cut these into six pieces each, and six times three is 18. Of course, that is not what you are going to uh, do with your students. And so now we're going to squeeze in our numbers. So you'll notice my 27 is kind of big, and it's kind of leaking over into my 28, 29, 30. And I'm going to keep going here. Here's 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And I'm going to keep going here. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Getting there. And then we've got 41, 42, 43. And then i got to squeeze in 44 because 45 is kind of leaking into my 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 zone there, my space. And now, there is our line plot. We're ready to start putting our line plots. And we see that we have six people who voted for 27. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We see 10 people who voted for 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We have nine people who voted for 38. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have three people who voted for 40. One, two, three. And then we have two people who voted for 45. So that's one, two. And then that is our resulting line plot. Now, once you have that resulting line plot, there's things that you can start talking about. We could start answering questions like, 
How many shoelaces were measured? How many more shoelaces are 27 or 36 than 40 or 45? So there's all these questions. And most importantly is what kind of conclusions can we draw as to why zero students had 54-inch shoelaces? So we have 45, but what about 54, which would have been way over here? Or how about a, a, a 4-inch shoelace? Why didn't anybody have a 4-inch shoelace? And then, of course, for students, they get to vote. Hey, which was easier? The line plot, looking at the line plot here, or looking at the table? And that's the kind of thing is allowing students to have opinions and really uh, personalize this mathematics. And again, one last one. I'm going to kind of quickly uh, fill in our information here. Uh, I'm gonna, well, no, let's start with the table. Uh, looking at the table, and we're going to give a title. So the table below describes the length of crayons in centimeters. So let's call that length of crayons. And then down below, we're going to call that in inches because it says so. How do we know it says it's in inches? Because... Oh, no, it's not in inches. It's in centimeters. So I need to cross off that inches, and I need to put centimeters. So let's call that centimeters. So we're going to call that centimeters. All right, and then there we go. And now we know that our... Uh, lengths go from 4 centimeters to 8 centimeters. So I'm going to start with a 0, dash, dash, and then here's my 4, here's my 8. Let's see, let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. So 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so there's my lengths. And we see that four people have, uh, there are four crayons that are four centimeters, one, two, three, four. We see that seven crayons are five centimeters, one, two, three, four, five. We see nine centimeters, or uh, nine crayons are six centimeters. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We see three crayons are seven centimeters, one, two, three. And then lastly, only one crayon is eight centimeters long. Boom. And there's our line plot. And once you have your line plot, you can start answering a ton of questions. And uh, for example, how many crayons are in the box? Or draw some sort of cr uh, conclusion as to why most of the crayons are this five or six centimeters long? Or why can we say that there's no crayons that are 10 centimeters long? Or what happens about one centimeter? Why aren't there any crayons that are one centimeter? And that wraps up grade two, module seven, lesson 26, drawing line, plat, uh, line plots for uh, collected data, and then drawing cl conclusions based on what that line plot looks like or what the table looks like. And uh, that wraps up this video.